Yo, what's up? It's your boy Currency365. Hope you guys are doing well. Legends never die. They stay in our hearts. Uh, if you want to support us, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also you can come down here and hit the join button uh, under the video uh, or in our channel uh, section. And you can also join our Patreon, patreon.com slash currency365. And uh, we also have Cash App and also PayPal uh, for support if you want to sell some seeds. Peace out. God bless. Enjoy the video and keep the movement going. Legends. Bye. All right, all right. Welcome back to Currency 365. Hope you guys are doing well. Lung community, USTC community. What's going on, everybody? Um, another day, and uh, we're just wow. The burns are big today. Uh, at least for lung burns are big today. Unusual um amounts of burns today so far to start the day, right? Um, and so we still have mm, eight hours, about eight hours left in the day before they switch over to the next day. Uh, because it is on UK time and um, somewhere around there. Um, so uh, if you're no, if you're it depends on where you are in the world. I mean, if you're in uh, LA, you got 11 hours. If you're in the East Coast, you have eight hours before the switch is over. And if you're in if you're in uh, Alaska or um, what's the other one? Hawaii? I mean, you got plenty of time. <laughs> yeah, it's like 14 hours before the switch is over. All right. Um, but. We have uh two hundred eighty uh two hundred ninety one excuse me million uh burns already today so that's pretty good but like I said before we we are way off from where we we're supposed to be right now um who would have thought that we would be under a billion burns uh almost uh, you know a year and a half after the crash you know who would have thought that we would only be burning them uh, under you know not even five hundred million a day right so but at least we have a good start today. And um, I think most of us thought we were going to be burning around 10 billion a day by by at this point, and re repegging would be here, and Lunk would be in the pennies and dollars by now. So, um, you know, it is what it is. A lot of decisions that the community have made have been detrimental to the token and and to the uh, projects and to the chain, and and we have to live by that because you know people have to, people have the right to vote on that, and if they want to destroy the chain and that that they can they can vote on that to do that so, so unfortunately but that's how that's how governance goes right um so a lot of decisions we have made have brought us to, to this day and uh where the community is kind of lost and and some of them want doquan to come back to be a leader and some people want um to to the uh ce access to burn to reduce supply and many people don't want to do nothing but we they just want to sit here in status quo and just collect rewards. So it all depends on who, what you want and you know, who are you, what you want. And then there's a very few people that actually want the repeg to happen. And um, so, and, th and that's all up to you. It's all up to you what you want. And do you want to be a person of one of the very few that actually wants the repeg to happen? Do you want um, to sit just sit back and just collect rewards and, and just let the chain die? Or do you want to build and do utilities and build stuff on the chain and and bring um, you know developers in or you know or you know do you want to do something else right so everybody has a, a specific different things that they want to do all right so um, yesterday I thought we talked about the um, a, a proposal that might you know that, that I was thinking about um, and I said I was going to talk about it today so let's talk about it today so the the proposal was um, now. Will this be a good proposal right now? Maybe, maybe not because of the, all these up uh, proposals that look like they're coming that are going to try to take money from the community pool. But the proposal was um, to, uh, you know, to to uh, take one percent out of the community pool every week as the community pool rises about three to five percent a week. I think I'm not I don't know the numbers on that, but I'm pretty sure the community pool rises three percent a week or, or at least two percent a week. It does it rises more than one percent a week, right? So most likely. Um so it, it maybe maybe it doesn't, but I I'm thinking it rise it's gotta rise with all the volume. We we don't get that much volume, but still we still have enough volume for the community pool to rise in seven days at least three percent. You know what I mean? So uh, does it? I don't know, but I'm I'm just guessing that it does. 
Okay, but anyway, with the rise of community pool every week, we take 1% of that, right, out of the community pool, and we swap it for USTC, and we burn it, right? So, um, and we also, the community pool is also in USTC as well, but we can just focus on LUNK, and we can take 1% of the LUNK, and we can swap it for USTC, and we can burn it every week. And that uh, also helps out, uh, helps us accelerate the uh, repeg as well. So, you know, see, because we already have the burn it all validated. It's going to be burning once a week on a Friday or Saturday. I'm not sure what day Brad's going to do it. And uh, and then we have and then we have the community pool swapping every week, one percent and burning. That's also helps out as well. So Brad does it on Sat on Fridays, community pool on Saturdays once a week, you know, on, on auto burn. That's awesome. Right. That that would be awesome. You know what I mean? So I think that's a great idea. And it's only 1%. So it's not like it's 10%, 5% or anything. It's 1% of the community pool. And as the community pool grows, we take 1% out of it. So that means every week the community pool is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And and so that means the 1% is getting bigger and bigger and bigger as well. Right? So, and then we, we burn USTC with it to help for the repay. Um, now, of course, people that don't want the repay to happen and don't want um, lunk back into the pennies and dollars are not going are going to vote no with veto or, or no on that on some type of that type of proposal. Um, so we, we understand that. Right. So um, but uh, I think it's a great idea uh, to to get to, to, to speed up the, the, you know, double speed up the repay there. Um you know, because we we don't have we don't literally don't have anybody burning USDC except for burning all validator and the uh, tax, right? The taxes take care of it, and the burn all validator is going to be burning on a weekly basis now, right? So, and if we can get the community pool to to come on in and do it. That's the trifecta. You got burn all validator, the community pool, and the uh, taxes. I think that that that's going to accelerate us a lot faster uh, to the repay. Um. But we don't have to do it if, if, the, if people don't want to put that proposal up. If nobody wants to write it up or get it up, we don't have to do it. It's a simple proposal and a lot of simple things getting get, get uh, no veto, right? So uh, most of the simple things that we that the community of asked for have been rejected. So community likes com complex things that they have to read over and get lawyers involved, and and they those things usually pass. So all right, um, it is what it is. Let me refresh this and see if we got. Any higher? Nope, still same two two ninety one. So it must have been somebody moving, moving um, trend going from wallet to wallet. Could have been an exchange going from wallet to wallet that's not whitelisted, and so that happens. Uh, you lose two hundred and ninety. <laughs> that's crazy, right? Uh, okay. Uh, and then we have uh, USTC that um seven thousand in burns today. Okay, and so we're almost back to fifteen percent here on staking. So, um, so that's good. Good, good to get back there. I, I'm, I'm really shocked that we're not at three, uh, three trillion in staking, uh, locked up at this point, man. Where we we've been doing this for, you know, a year and a half, and and um, June June will be two years since the crash, right? So we've been doing this a long time to not have three trillion staked. It's kind of disappointing. It's really disappointing, you know. Uh, to not have three trillion. That means a lot of people's tokens are, uh, a lot of people's coins are on on centralized exchanges, right? And so they're they're de they're dependent on social centralized exchanges. Um, and we know the horror stories that have happened with that. So it is what it is. All right. So you can see the the uh, nice little cross there, lunk uh, to the upside, almost hitting four billion uh, in the community pool. Um, and then we have USTC 8.2. There is a security upgrade. Um, and we got, let's talk about that. Let's see here. Actually, let me go to stats first and then we'll do the validators last, uh, 310 million last 24 hours, 1.4 billion came in for staking. That's so that's good. Staking's going up. Um, now of course, if the price jumps here, if we do get that wave five, staking will crash okay um so remember, remember that right so we we already told you that if, if we do go from point if we do get wave five on lunk and we do go up to that three zero five uh staking will go down to about 500 million i mean people will be wanting to cash out uh and that's that's not um that's not unnormal i mean that's freaking normal right people have become millionaires or six figures and they want to cash out so let them cash out everybody has a different stop stopping point and um and it is what it is all right so 
All right. Uh, oh, let me go down and see the validators and see if they are uh, who's number. Oh, stake bin. One billion came in the stake bin. Shout out to stake bin. Or is that stake in? My, my bad. That's stake in. That's not stake bin. That's stake in. All right. So stake in has uh, one one billion came in a stake in, not stake bin. All right. So two different ones there. All right. Uh, and then you got the other ones here. Uh, wow. Man, this DC board just. What's going on with this validator, man? It's just big delegations, big redelegations, big undelegations. So what's going on with that validator, man? These these validators here keep having the same problem. They're like massive ups and downs on them. Like people are like not not stable. You want to find validators that are stable, man. God, like these guys are big, big redelegations, big undelegations, big dele. Then the next day, big delegations. Like, dang, what kind of roller coaster ride is that? All right, so let's go over to the station and check out the. Um, the proposal, yeah, this one right here, this is the big one. This is gonna be fifty. This is gonna be fifty-one thousand dollars, man. Ooh. Do we really need the security upgrade to that to, to that level? Did, did did anybody check out the um? Did anybody ask their um? You know, the people that do security or, or blockchain security, that do we actually need this? So that they, um, you know, all we have to do is ask these people that run blockchain security on other pro on other sites and other companies to just run a test on, on Lunk's blockchain and see if we actually need this proposal because it's going to cost us $51,000 for security. I've just never seen anything like this. So okay, I mean maybe it's needed, but so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go in on it and and, and say it's not needed. But I want people to actually. And I I don't think all nodes have voted yet. I don't think a lot of the big dogs have voted yet. I don't think so, but um I'm not sure. But uh I I think we need some professional um I think we need some professional people to 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 go to do a, do a scan on the Terror blockchain. Ter uh, and, the, and the classic blockchain and then look at this proposal and then and tell us if we actually need this you know what i mean get some third party uh people in there because fifty one thousand dollars i mean you, you i mean just 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 take the whole community pool then you know what i mean <laughs> like i mean we built this thing up we're building up the community pool and now they we got people you know that are, I mean, wanting to wipe it clean here. So it's not going to wipe the community pool clean, but man, that's a big chunk of the community pool. Um, okay. And the crazy part is that I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, the people that are doing this are the same people that are, that are, you know, that, that are uh, trying to keep the price of lunk down so that people don't undelegate from them. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Anyways, I'm just guessing there, but we need we need some we need some experts to come in. You can see the red starting to come in a lot now since less since yesterday, and that's because that's fifty one thousand dollars, guys. We don't have any experts, third party saying that yes, you need this, no, you don't need this, and so they're just it's just like let's put this up here fifty one thousand dollars and let's see if they're gullible enough. You know what I mean to give us fifty one thousand for a security upgrade. You know, I don't, I don't know. I, I just don't, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like that it costs $51,000. I've never seen anything. I've been in cryptos this so long. I've never seen anything cost $51,000 in cryptos to do anything on the blockchain. You know, I, I, I don't, I don't understand. I don't, I don't know. Um, and I, I guarantee you Ethereum has probably never paid $51,000 for their security upgrades. <laughs> you know, like, if they have that, then that's something I never, I've never heard. Right. So. I don't know, man. I, I you know, you're talking about security upgrades, fifty one thousand dollars. We need so we need to get some professional. Um, can anybody get some? Can let, let somebody let me know. Can anybody get some professional people, blockchain um security people that look at this and see if we actually need this or not, and let me know so I can do a video on it, please. Um, you know, so anybody talk to um anybody, just anybody, you know, and, and also get get the influencers on it. I, I saw Clay Bro, Clay Bro did a video on it. He does not like this at all. He's like fifty one thousand for security, uh, for upgrading security. <laughs> he went from Clay Bro to no bro, no bro. <laughs> uh so I don't, I don't know, guys and girls. I'm kind of iffy on that one, man. 
if it's needed, then okay. But if it, man, I think some. I think we got some people trying to get over on this, but uh, I don't know. You know. If it's needed, then okay, I guess. But it's not going to help the price. I know that much. You about to dump fifty one thousand dollars out of the community pool. That's not going to help us on the price side. Um, okay, so uh, the markets are going back to the down, or at least the downside today. We'll see what Bitcoin does. Bitcoin has to make a decision here. And if it's going up and down, that's going to affect everybody else, right? If Bitcoin is going to thirty two thousand, then that's a big drop from here, right? So, um, but I think the first support is thirty five, thirty six, thirty five. Is the first major support there, and then and then if it breaks down, it will be that twenty eight to thirty two thousand. All right, so uh, so so Lunk is just chilling here, man. We still we're we're at five zeros now and again. We're at four zeros, four zeros, okay, four zeros in the nine. So we're still under the one, under one here, and uh, we're back to a five hundred minute market. Man, can you imagine the Bitcoin drops some more here? We're gonna go. We're gonna we're probably gonna go back to a three hundred fifty minute on market. That's crazy. That's a steal, right? Um, and volume is severely low. Uh, it says here uh, circling supply is five seven eight eight. So we did break underneath in underneath that ninety there, uh, back to, into the eights there. So five seven eight eight. Is a circle and supply. We need to we need to we need to get this these two amounts significantly lower fast, right? Um, let's check out USTC, which when I was doing my uh, crypto video today on Patreon, it, it it was pumping. It was up five percent earlier. Yeah, there we go. So it, it was pumping when I was doing my video. So this thing went crazy, and now it's pulled back. Okay. Uh, up ninety seven percent on on the volume today, but only twenty million of volume. So, and then two hundred and fifteen million on market cap. Yeah. Right. So that's where it's at. And then we have uh Terra Luna. And let's check this one out. Fifty eight cents. And my my token. Uh, well, yeah, my token should be. I unstaked my token for for Luna two point to move them to um station. Um, to move them to station, and uh, I'm not sure when that's gonna be over. That 21 days is a long time, so you know what I mean. Uh, so who knows? I, I think I'm definitely past the first week, so I think I got maybe like 13 days left or something like that. So we'll see how that plays out. I'm, I'll move it over there. I'll move it over to station. I think I'm getting like uh, I think you're getting like 17 to 18, 19 per, a percent somewhere around there. Uh, if you uh, stake with somebody that doesn't have commissions. And then if you have somebody with, if you're staking with somebody with commission, which is okay as well, um, you just deduct it from the uh, eight, 17 to 18, 19%, right? So if it's 5% commission, then you're getting about 12 to, to, to um, you know, 12, 13, 14% in commission, uh, in, in APY, right? APR. Um, okay, so I have, I, I am, I, I have some, a small bag, a small bag staked on, on, um, on station um already with a zero percent um validator for luna 2.0 um and but i'm waiting for my my initial that's that was my reward i took my rewards and i staked my rewards on on there and then to get that started and now and now i'm waiting for my other tokens to unstake to get that started to get that to move that over there to station all right and um and then for a lunk i you know um, all my all my tokens that I'm staking are with the burning all validator for for Lunk the Terra Luna Classic and I've been I have added more over the recent several weeks here and some of you guys have added more as well and you can add your rewards you can you know we're getting rewards down to eighty percent to twenty uh, percent burn so you're getting your rewards and um you know some of the rewards are good now of course rewards are better the the higher the more Lunk tokens you have. Right, so if you want bigger rewards, you're like my rewards are small. Like, well, the big, the more you that you gotta build it up, build it up, right? Build it up. Have a, have a goal to build build up your rewards, right? So you know, so that if 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 nothing happens this year, God forbid, of course, if nothing happens this year, at least at the end of the year, you you now have another income stream, right? So you know, right now maybe your rewards are like fifty cents a day or something like that. Well, build it up to build it up to a hundred dollars a day by the end of the year. So now you got three thousand dollars a month coming in, and, and so that's another that's a part time income coming in. A third income, maybe maybe that's your second income or your third income by the end of the year. 
right? So you know, have some goals, build it up, build it up to a to a to an income stream of three thousand a month, right? Uh, and so now, boom, there you go. So now you got your job that maybe you're making four thousand a month at your job, and now you got this income stream that's making almost the same as your job, right? So now there you go, you just doubled your income, right? So, um, so just set a goal for yourself and be like, hey, I, I, I want to get my staking rewards up to five dollars a day or ten dollars a day or fifty dollars a day or a hundred dollars a day, and just keep building, build it up. You get the token, you're getting free tokens, so just you, you can use that and and use your own money to compound it. Right. You can use your DoorDash money. You can use overtime money. You know, you can use money for shoveling snow or whatever miscellaneous work that you're doing. You can use that money and, and build it up that way to, to get it up even faster. Right. I've been telling you guys these things for five years. Right. So, you know, a lot of you guys are still not doing it. <laughs> we can do, you know, a lot of you guys are still not doing it. So some of you, only a few of you guys are. And, and the few of you guys that that did take my word on it five years ago, four years ago, whatever, you're you're happy right now because you see the world how the world is right now, and you and it's really critical to have multiple streams of income right now, right? And the rest of you guys that didn't do it are like, man, why didn't I freaking stake back then and build this thing up, you know, and and get this past? Now I would have had at least, you know, maybe by that time, by that by this time, you would have at least five thousand a month coming in, right, in passive income. So. It's just sometimes you just don't do things when you're supposed to. You know it's you know that's the right thing to do, but you just don't do it, and it's what it is. And, you, and now you have to, now we all have to, we, you know we all have to say, dang, we should have we should have done better, right? And so, um, it is what it is. All right. So I know a lot of I know a few of you guys that that are that were staking uh, back in those days are loving life right now because you're like, dog, man. My, I'm earning like ten thousand a month staking, or I'm earning two thousand a month staking, five thousand a month staking. Man, I don't have to worry about getting another job, or you know, I mean, I, you know, I got this extra two thousand a month coming in from staking, and I don't have to do nothing, you know, to to get it. So, it's really good, man, when you stake and you build that thing up, and you and you're able to uh, make make that passive income staking uh, on the decentralized side. All right. Um, for those that can do that, but for those that have the option to do that. All right, I think we're done. Let's go to the validators and wrap up the video. And so here are the validators securing the blockchain for us in the Terra Classic chain, all right, or the Terra chain, whatever you want to call it. All right, so here it goes. All nodes, number one, Orion, number two, or Interstellar Lounge, number three, Interstate one, number four, Jesus Lord, number five. I did say Jesus Lord would be a top five validator, didn't I? A lot of you guys were. I, I guarantee you, when I said that back in those days, people were. Like, Currency's crazy, man. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody de delegating to Jesus Lord. You know what I mean? So, I did say that he would be a top five validator, right? So, um, but uh, you know, of course, that was before all the incident stuff happened. But regardless of that, right? I did say before that he was going to be a top five validator. You would see him in the top five. I know a lot of you guys said, uh, currency, that's not going to happen. He's way down at the bottom there. <laughs> I, hey, look, it happened. I, I also said the same thing for Happy Caddy Crypto. And he, he, he became, I think he was a top five before he fell. Uh, wasn't Happy Caddy Crypto a top five before he fell? And so he's still in the top 10. So he came out of nowhere, too. I told you he was going to be, he was going to come, he's going to, he's going to go into the top 10 and possibly top five. I did say that. So. You know, a lot of, and then I said stake bin was going to rise too, didn't I? So, and there they are, at top 15 now, right? Um, let's see here. DF Lunk was in the top five as well. I told you guys about them before anybody else did. And I said that they're about to rise and uh, because they're burning Lunk and nobody knows about it. And when people find out, they're going to, they, you know, they're going to get some support, you know, and they did. They, they got up to about 50 something billion and, and then all of a sudden, Lunk price went up, and then the people that were staking with uh, DF Lunk said it's time to get out because they had made a lot of money. So you know what I mean. So we don't. So the problem is that you don't know who in these who in here is going to get out because they've they're now up six seven figures. You, you just don't know, right? And so it's like a it's like a Russian roulette here, you know. And so when Lunk price goes up to that three zero five you're not gonna know who who's ready to uh you know 
undelegate nine billion tokens. You just, you just don't know, right? You, and the, the person is watching my video right now, listening to me like it's me, <laughs> right? And well, we don't know what validator he's under, right? He could be under air, 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 air. We, we don't know, right? So, so, and that's what happened last time. Like two of the big validators dropped out of the top ten because there was people on there uh, that were staking with them that were ready, that were ready to cash in. You don't know who's ready to cash in. I did say three of the, if we get to that point zero zero five or higher, I think three of these validators in the top 10 are going to fall significantly because people are going to be ready to cash out and you can't blame them for cashing out. They're millionaires now, right? <laughs> what are you, you going to do? You know what I mean? And they're going to undelegate and, and they're going to wait the 21 days and they're going to ready to cash out, baby. And congratulations to them. You know what I mean? We can't do nothing about that, man. Why would you try to stop that? That's crazy. For, you know, we, we shouldn't be trying to stop that. We should be we should be congratulating them and 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 then keep it moving. You know what I mean? And then go ahead and promote your validator to get more people on your validator. Don't be hating on them and try to block the the uh, the, the lung price from going up so that you, you can keep your your delegators. I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> You know, because you're stopping your own wealth. Uh, you're, you're stopping your own wealth, uh, you know, net worth as well, because your net worth will be up massively as well. And your staking rewards will be up massively as well. The problem is, is that they don't like the undelegations that are going to come with it. <laughs> um, but you make it up by by having your, your dollar. The dollars are worth more now, though. So your, your, your lung tokens are worth more dollars now. So, yeah, you might get, a, you know, maybe a 30 billion on delegation, but your, 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 um, you know, your lunk, your lunk, um, staking rewards uh, have jumped 5x, 10x in value. So, you know, you literally, you're going to probably still break even, uh, if the price can hold up there, though. You know, the problem is, is when they, when they undelegate, then the price starts to fall back down again. <laughs> then, then, you, then you're like, oh, man, I'm screwed. All right. Um, that's it. Let's check out the rest of the validators and get out of here. Um, hope you guys have a great day today and, uh, I'll see you guys in the next videos, man. There's the validators securing the blockchain for us. Some of them are good. Some of them are bad. Some of them are neutral. You decide which one is which. <laughs> Peace out. God bless, bro.